Hello everybody, this is Richard Cespedes and I'm here with a video tutorial on how to teach you how to do telekinesis, psychokinesis, uh, how to move objects and things like that. Now this is gonna just going to be a slideshow of my videos and I'm just going to be uh, doing commentary over it. Now, uh, the, now, now just to get into it, what you want to do is um, if you want to get into telekinesis, you have to be in a neutral emotional state. You can't be too high emotionally or too low. You have to be neutral right in the middle. Your mind has to be clear and you have to be totally relaxed. Being relaxed really helps a lot. And you have to be ready to be patient and focused. Don't be disappointed when you don't see results immediately. And don't be too happy when you do. You want to walk away at any time, whether you do or don't see results. You want to walk away from it in a neutral, continuing with your neutral emotional state, continuing even after you're done practicing your telekinesis. That's going to help you to be more humble, but also slowly build confidence and um, be appreciative of your achievements. Because telekinesis is a constant state of process. You know, you see these people on online, on YouTube or whatever, and they do these amazing things, rolling cans or rolling these uh, plastic bowls of water on the table, or whatever, sliding upright, things like that. They're in a constant state of process. They're never, whenever they achieve something big, like rolling a big basketball or whatever, just an example, they don't say, okay, I'm done. You know, I did it and I'm the badass. No, their constant state of process. The constant state of process is what perpetuates your telekinetic abilities to grow and perpetuate your confidence to grow. Just like life, your constant state of learning. And telekinesis is life and telekinesis, that's what it demands. So. What you want to do is you want to spend 15 minutes before you do telekinesis on any object. Grab an object, can ping pong ball or a PSI wheel, and mess around with it. Don't, don't focus, don't put any telekinetic energy and onto it for the first 20 to 15 minutes. Just mess with it. Put the object deliberately in positions where it will roll or move on its own. Whether on a slanted table or on grooves or warps on a table. Move the can, spin it around, play with it, play with the ping pong ball, flick the PSI wheel, the paper bounce on a needle or nail, flick it around, see the object in motion. What that does is that it lets you see how the object looks when it's in motion. And then, when you spend 15 20 minutes messing with the object, then you get into telekinetic mode and start working on the object. Then, what that does is that why you're, the reason why you're spending 15-20 minutes focusing on the object is because you're letting your subconscious store that data. Because it's your subconscious that's really moving the object. People that move objects immediately are using their conscious and subconscious. They're real masterful. But what you want to do then is you want to look at the object as you're going to begin, begin work with the telekinetic movements. You have to look at the object as though it's moving right before your eyes. You have to anticipate the object. Put the object again in a position where it will roll or move on its own, where you will see slight motion. You want to pay attention to the slightest motion because objects, they feel you. So you put the object in a, in a position where it will be in a position where it will roll on its own and you want to anticipate the movement and roll or whatever of the object, whether it's moving left or right, you want to anticipate and foresee and see in that instance that it's moving you're seeing it it's going to move it's moving and see it pay attention to the slightest subtle shakes and shivers and movement of the object that will help to perpetuate the object to actually move and make big movements and then then what you want to do is that when you begin to see those slight movements put yourself in a state of observation don't think observe and just stare the object your subconscious will do the work for you and again as soon as you start to see motion slight movement and there is there will be movement because every object even for novice telekinetics the object every object feels you when you're staring at it it feels you believe me it does it's aware that you're there and it feels you as soon as you start to see any movements any shuttle subtle movement shivers or shakes or anything like that or rolling or any movements what you want to do again is you want to observe and stare do not think just observe that it's moving and stare your subconscious 
mind will send the, the previous thoughts that you were thinking of how you wanted the object to move will send it to the object and the object will then respond to that so all, all full so that's why you want to spend 15 20 minutes moving the object looking at the object observing it feeling empathy again having empathy from trevor seven what he says empathy getting to know the object seeing how it moves your subconscious mind is storing all that information in there so when you do begin to, to um perform your telekinesis all the techniques that you learn from other um, telekinetics online and from Trevor Seven, um, seeing for seeing the object moving right in an instant, right at that moment, staring at it, seeing it move in that moment, being a constant state of observance and staring. Your subconscious mind will send inf that information to the object, and the object will then start to move. As soon as it starts to move. You see, this is the thing, is that most of the time when the, the PSI will, you see the PSI will moving, I have no control over it most of the time. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But when it does move any object, I just let the object go where it wants. And then I go with it. And that's the trick. Why? Because the subconscious mind is already sending that information for it to go in that direction. So you don't have to force it to go where you want it to go. Spend 15, 20 minutes then work on the telekinetic energy and your subconscious will send that information of where you want it to go the previous thought and that's how you do telekinesis remember become relaxed observe and stare and your subconscious mind will take over thank you guys